Kato going in though, and they found Zayus and Odo on the flank. Kuri's gonna get hit with a hostile takeover already. Zayus is down. What more can Pain Gaming find? The chase is on, Azona has to dash away. Jinkato is forward as well. Pop Blossom Flash, Flash away. Glacial Prison still connects, and Zayus can put down the equalizer. Carry a flash. Hostile takeover hits onto two. She turns one of them. And goodbye, Pain. Wiser, Ona secures the smite. Hostile takeover. Ona hits onto Wiser, but he pops the Ragnarok. Cheetan was clipped by it as well. Should be able to escape to the safety of this tower, but Karaoka does not have that same luxury. Kuri misses the Spirit Blossom up towards the top side as Baker dashes back to his soul. And underneath the bot tower, Cheetan is caught out by T1. T1 zoning him off. Baker goes in again anyway. Flash away from the charm. It's perfect to pop on the Q. Oh, Mickey. Mickey, Kerry is there, Mickey tries to dredge line away, the charm moves him in place, and I don't think Mickey needs to burn the flash in. They can keep pushing. Another hook, Kerry's not done, Jackie loves out of tools, going to the depth, oh it's clean! This man plays Pike, you love to see it, the ult. Even in terms of overall gold, kind of forced to respond to what T1 is doing, hook is excellent, Bob oh. is there, ignite two, it's a clean combo. He knew! And they find the fight, nice charm on the side, immediately they find the killer they were looking for, Jackie love caught out, three stacks available. Baker, nice Ezreal all coming in for Jackie Love, but the damage not enough. Feathers flying out, members falling for the side of TES as T1 again managed to carry on. Decent carry on the way up, drops a little health back to keep Baker standing. But TN, that's a flashless Ivern. Oh, he's gonna get taken down. A little bit extra healing for the level up, but it's first blood. And he's dead. Pace of arrows following into the death chamber as the impale is decent. Ona still alive, he's so tanky, and it's gonna be Yushi taking matters into his own hands. The spears go wide. Faker's on the rotation, Carrier. Yeah, can he charge it? He does find an knockback oh. onto Faze. Oh. There's a crash into the wall as well. Lehan's just caught out of it. It comes down. Decent little utilization of the Counter-Strike, but Faker's gonna get on the kill. Hustle oh, takeover. Means Kane is dead at the same time. And Faze almost hit by that hand. Not another charge, that's a smite coming through. Oh. Maybe it was a main season assist and it's a double kill. He's just beelining right in there. Paranoia comes down. They do throw out the ulti. Carrier trying to keep them at bay and oh no. There goes Lehens, and now Baker is caught on to Keen Lance the Shuriken, and he's going to wait for the leap strike. Oh god, okay, the arrow is going to connect, the counter strike wears off, but there's a cease and desist, and he can't flash leap strike out of that one, and even the objective so far in this game is Kerry is flashing on over, Lehens could be in trouble, shattering strike and a hold him in place as Baker wants to be. Keen's able to try and cut, chop them up, and there goes Ona, but they'll trade that any day of the week. They have the Baron buff as Carrier able to get the handshake beautifully. His position Lehens. amazing as Lehens is in so much trouble. Zayn's gonna pick it up with a body slam and pace. He's slowed down as well. They're being separated and just trading oh. objectives everywhere as Arrow is looking to connect handshake straight into it here. And I don't think this Leona is gonna last very long. That is gonna be T1's first kill. They're holding on to it. For the moment, Ona jumping back in. There's the hero's entrance. Kevin gets the slam into the wall. It's on, almost falls. He gets punched by Baker. Six feet under, Shun next on the menu. As Gumi Yushi begins to open up. Shun taken out by Zayas. The equalizer does exactly that for T1. Testament of ultimates from T1. Mikhail's used. Carry yeah. flash handshake. Pulls back Elk. Uh, Baker trying to get with the quickest of the back line. Gumi Yushi unable to open up quite yet. Been doing the damage onto Ona as well, but already Elk is down to 300. That flank will seal away the quickness from Arngest. Oh. The charm flashes in, finds two. Equalizer in the back line as well. Oh. As Baker is not off this earth. He finds the engage. He finds. And T1 have been able to defend Baker. They keep him alive. Baker flashes. And Knight can't find him. Extra gold, the biggest gold lead holder on the team. So much to know. Oh, Carrier goes in. Oh, you should call, get the down, down with the volley. Oh. Carrier, though, he will not oh, make it. Wow. 
Bad luck. Okay, we're looking for a dive here. No 2v2 kill, but there's the Zenith Blade in. Immediate cleanse flash from Gumi Yushi as they're trying to get that kill first. It is going to be first blood going over to Carrier, but it's a one for one immediately. Still. And it's beautiful to see as Canyon's just going to get engaged on here. Carrier pulls the trigger in a moment and Canyon misses the flash. Jean. And there's no teleport for Showmaker to come back to defend. Uh oh, King in a lot of trouble here. They have way too much CC and yep, he's just going to go down. So T1 able to trade it back. And Guma is eventually coming over. Yeah. And that'll get the job done, right? Yeah. I was going to say, have good news. go for Faker, but gets his here. It's Carrier. He makes his way into the play as. The Gooba ult also sails wide, but this is still gonna go the way. And more poke is coming out. They're trying to get this poke in, but now the engage comes out from T1. They pull the trigger, and Zeus is able to frontline Gooba and Karia. They stay alive in the 2v2 as well as aiming goes down. It is a clean ace. Did. Sorry, off the dragon. Cuz is just getting full comboed here. There's not much he can do as First Blood will go to carry him. It's been so unreal. I mean, now, again, Leaper and Andal denied farm here. He's going in. I mean, they they want to take this fight. They say, yes, thank you very much, but Andal will be able to flash away. Leaper is going to get over to Bulldog here, but Solar Flare comes in and Andal's just dead. I mean, he knew it as now Cuz is coming over. They are trying to take this 2v2, but Carry is just so tanky and Bulldog is barely scratching the Leona at this point. Guma comes over, and it might just be a feast for him. He takes down the turret, does Bulldog. Engage that. I do worry about Leaper's survivability. The chance. Level up. six here, and he tries to wall away. That's not going to work, buddy, but, you know, he didn't have many other options. No flash available, and now the stolen Talia going to do it to them like that. The double That's kill. doo-doo, and it's the Talia. As now we got teleports coming in from T1. It's only Leaper who gets knocked up. He's going to be blown up. Bulldog goes down. Leaper goes down. T1, they find the angle. Cuz was not here at all. Oh, wow. oh boy. Here we go. They're just going to run them down. And the silence comes in. But uh, the last hit is going to get the job done. As yes, bailout keeps him alive. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble. Dubai is finally going to use her ult. And the, uh, the silence comes down so you don't get a dash away. You talked about how valuable that is into the Aurelian soul and we see it on display already here and he is going to dash away but now we got the ult on top of him as well he's going to get the knock up on the Baker here come the heals from the Soraka and the redemption to keep him alive it's just not fair as Baker his side lane shenanigans side lane threats as here we go Gonna try to come in here. The knockup comes in. There's that TP you guys are talking about. And now Faker in a really rough spot. He's gonna get Barrel ulted, but there's really nobody to save him as Barrel takes a bit of damage, but will survive. One, there it is. They're gonna throw it straight into Pyochang. They know he doesn't have it, but he has actually a stopwatch and he will be going down. That's a kill already on the death. The Zeus just got in and murdered him as that is three to the side of T1. Uh, the Baron. So basically one wave to try and crush it and get this. And they'll use the wall to do so. Uh, the ult's gonna be thrown towards the Leona. Beryl just says, okay, I'm going in, and he's dead. Uh, now we're gonna have people trying to get close, and that's the issue with the Sivir. He's able to stop some, but he has to get so close to the fire. And T1 so far ahead at this point, and now with both Depth and Beryl... Nasus benefits a lot from that movement speed of close distance. Trying to clear the wave here. He's got Karia to just stasis everything up there, and this is an or, and as the Impale will come in, but the stun is there from Karia, and the knockup from the or, but Depth, he lives just barely, and eventually does go down to Karia's auto barrel as well. It's going to bite the dust eventually as Baker comes here to Zeus, and we got Karia and Owner and Level Kuma one. all coming in. There's the slam into the wall. Perfect's in a bit of trouble, and he doesn't have flash. He's going to go down to the city. He's punished, and walking in a winch, we are just going to face check and die. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what they're doing, but Guma has two kills now. Commit. I was, oh, more happening. Yeah, Karia's just kind of getting in there, and this is actually in a beat because the TP's here, Faker's here as well, Dev is just dead, and now Faker gets the scoop here on a Pyoshik. Nice Senna ult to help out, and BDD is so, dead. Obviously level one for the Amistar lane is always going to feel a bit weak because we are fighting. Yeah, level two here. The combo goes in on a mob. Oh! He knocks up the range spinion and gets the hook down. Ignite as well, but this is his Ziggs at level two, which doesn't really do anything. Combo coming up for Karia. He's got his headbutt again. Just trying to do some extra damage in onto Amy. Do they have kill pressure? Walk on over towards this Baron. Another teleport going to be used this time from Morgan. 
who does need to run all the way around if he wants to get in here. Gideon on top of Gumiyushi right now, but the snare does come through. Carrier gets over the wall, the dragon gets mad, and Carrier almost in execute range. Oh, the seismic shot for the double! He's so good, and he just eats the dragon, and now he's not gonna die. It's a triple kill for this guy's Tom Kench, and then he gets back in there to take. This champion is not okay, Ox. He just isn't. A hook is going to connect. It looks great from Peter, but I think he oh, might oh. just be dead. There's the double, the flash lick from Carrier. And Ho Jose Diodo here. The weight pushing in, though. So if they're around two minions away, not under the tower yet, they get the stuff, but no one's tanking. Carrier flashes himself. Good double root from Carrier. And everything that Astral is trying to do is oh. all for naught. It's two for T1. Zofei will try and clear the wave, should be able to do it, dodges away from everything. Guma tanking the tower, Zofei's still alive. Oh no! Oh no smited the wrong minion. <laughs> or oh, he smited one and another one blocked the sonic wave anyway. Zofei's gonna stay around, he's probably dead here, but let's see what he can do, Kobe. Yeah, they're still gonna go. Go oh, for it! Oh, the shield, he gets him! Estra, Estra leaves oh, the snacker ticking down, oh no on his way. Kevia no flash, but he can land the harpoons. And it was good for a second, but the Flame Spitter doesn't care about your Crystal Arrows. Two kills over the T1 once again. The Baron, but the flash kick from Jose is enough to get Faker's stopwatch at least. Zobe's gonna join the fight. Faker falling low, but he has a command shield for himself. Guma Yushi down to half HP as well. Another charm onto Ono as he heartbreakers over the wall and ends Cody's life. Another charm from Ona, he gets the double, he's looking for more as Ackerman has to flash away the Heartbreaker short, but it's a triple for Ona. One taken away by Carrier. T1, teleport comes in. Spiker coming in. Off the side lane, double. Carrier, oh, it's a double, it's a ruse, they try to predict Jensen flash of the way. Flash from Faker though, sends it right back in, the shot frames only a one man, as Faker sidesteps it. So beautifully done, so nicely synced up, and T1's macro again. Look at Red Hot, and Inspired now getting the full face of the medal as well. Licky Tongue in action! And Inspired flashing away to survive away from Gumi Yushi, but he's over the wall, he's got the range. Lucio up next, he's silent, he goes into hostile mode, but it ain't gonna take, is it? Ona with a reset now, the flying through, Ona gets another, and another's coming up! Give him a double, and we're set up for Ona's Viega, we're set up for an early game. As they charge on him, Whippo looks for the counter angle, the last punch in such an early game. He bounces, he drops, he jumps in, The Carrier does it better! The Frog runs in, the Shockwave is good from Jensen, but there's not enough damage. Masu can't get the reset from the bailout, and Carrier can't be stopped. It's another one, the guy looks like he is playing Nautilus with an R button! It's insane, it is nuts, and you can laugh at Mad Lions, but let's be real, Kobe, FlyQuest ain't far off! Well, we get in the jungle trade. And this is the best part about lane swaps. Level 2 hit by Inspired. Faker does the damage, but Zayus is left out. He tanks him up against the wall. He ignites. He still dies. But there is a 3v3 with no health bars, and Carrier is an ash with Hail of Blade. He starts firing away. Inspired tries to tank it up, but Permafrost is so easy. Owner's gonna get the kill. Busio's up next. He dredge slides out, but Carrier gets the flash, has his own, <laughs> matches him. And if you want to take T1 toe to toe on in this early game, I'm gonna look at bottom lane. Thank you. Here we go. It's Permafrost, remember, is what you're gonna look for. Busio gets hit hard and doesn't think you had a chance to react. Double turret shot for Ona, well juggled as Guma picks up the first kill. Now onto Wibbo, level 3, he body slams in. He attempts, but Carrier kites it out. He parries, but doesn't survive. Parking. Fake has the wall, but not needing it. Remember, Masu with the lockdown is what we're looking for. How they survive. The level 3 Nord is gonna try. Under turret, gets a little bit janky. His owner takes it up. Ends up being a trade here, but Guma picks up the kill. With the plate on top of it as well, Inspired Hovers off to the side. But he can't get anything done. The damage is already done. Okay. Service, you're baiting me. Change of corruption comes through. Guma, meanwhile, doesn't need to cleanse this. He doesn't have it. Doesn't care. The pokes in. Carrier tanks up turret again while T1 has to get out of dodge because Jensen oh. with the ulti sends him back. But one minion maybe saved the day. Ona running for his life with Guma over the wall. The Weaver's Wall brings Faker back into melee range. Side pick jump away from it. Jensen is caught between a rock, a rock, a rock, and a rock. Faker on the back end still pokes him down. Just when you think Fly can get revenge. Guma, you know, this fed Callista that we keep talking about, this thing now the build. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh nice. Carrier's timing was sick, man, and they are making fun of North America. T1 in play-ins, like... Flank, though. Here's the arrow. Not gonna catch him. He goes into the clone. The real ulti, though, oh, hits the prison down, and Guma just bursts. 
Wow. If you have children, don't let them watch. Yeah. Wait for G2 as Kevin looks TP. done. Not back. TP behind by Baker. Still no Shurima shuffle for him. He does have the flash though, and Mickey doesn't have much of a health bar left as T1 continues to collapse. Kevin has the flash. Headbutt pulverize. Goes in onto Caps. Destiny behind, and now Caps needs to get the hell out of there. But T1 are trying to send him to the depths. Baker chasing it. Baker finds another. And from what was a great game state for G2, T1 punch back. With the win wall and Baker will fall, but Mickey almost follows. Face cool gets him out. Owner Kevier, give me Yushi and Zayas. On the chase forward, Gold Guard locked again. Kevier gets a double knock on the caps. Able to buffer out of it. Kevier on the back line. Kills off Mickey Yike trying to do everything he can. Broken blade low. Buster shot into the engage with the last breath. But it's Broken Blade who has lost the breath from his lungs. Yike looking for more. Owner low. Guma Yushi and Zayas. Mickey locked off with a gold card once again. The Baron down to 2,000. Zayas takes one, but Yike gets the Baron. Cameo with a three-man knockup. Owner with the Crescent Guard. Stopwatch coming out as G2. Just try and get out of the fight, but they might look for more. Yike has the lilting all the way. Only locks up Owner. And Summer dancing and ducking and weaving his way around the pit, but he just can't get away. Gold card locked again as Yike stay. I think the game might boil down to the fact that G2 are pushing forward here in the pop loss, and we'll find Mickey Tangle Barbs for this follow-up. There's the Spectrum more. Call of the Forge coming out as Mickey tries to turn it back around. The shockwave possibility from Caps. But Mickey already falling low as Owner possesses his body. A three-man shockwave into the dive forward. Is it enough for G2? Broken Blade fighting Faker in the bottom lane. It's, it's a one-for-one -one trade on the top side. Faker aging in the bottom lane as Guma almost stunned against the wall, but not quite. Guma gets first blood and has summer stunned. One, two for one in favor of T1. No. Emperor's Divide remember as Owner goes in. Crescent Guard flash away from the chain of corruption. Immediately, Yike and Caps try to dive on a Faker, but Hans Summer's already fallen. Hostile takeover lands on two first blood. Goes over to T1. They find a second. Binding. The cosmic binding from Carrier. It's just sublime. And now Cavs knocked up, tries to flash, but there's no way he's getting away from Ona today. Or is he? As he continues to walk away, has to dodge, the wind becomes lightning. Ona gonna tank the tower. Audacious charge is enough as Yike falls as well. It's 4 1 T1. Overextended in mid lane and is collapsed on by G2. Crucially, they gave that shutdown over to Hans. Baker going in. Titanic Hydra, not enough. The shockwave onto Baker. Yike dashing away, but Owner's here and will happily accept that kill. Kamiya with another Cosmic Binding. Hans Summer trying to close in from the side, but he knows that Owner's on his way. Camp's falling low, but will manage to fight another day. Crescent Guard pop by flash. Here. Broken Blade might go for Guma. Can knock him into the wall. Kamiya, though, is going to spot him. Set first presence going down as the Sun Disk is used. Flash from Mickey with a hostile takeover, but it only lands onto the Azir. Yike trying to do what he can in the middle of the fight. The Stone is already down to half HP, but Yike and Mickey and G2 have to retreat because gold. From Kamiya, the shockwave only lands on one, it's owner, not the target that G2 wanted. And Baker has had enough! He slides G2 into the waiting maws of his team!